Transformed into the legendary Screecherine, Johnny was able to defeat Kadumarang, becoming a Tiny Mon Master. But he also won the animosity of Blast, who vowed to defeat this flaming headed boy if he ever returned to the land of Tiny Mon. Now, let's get to this new story, since his introduction was way long, and I'm very tired. <laughs> I love Tiny Muns. And there's two new ones! That Boomerang, the evolved form of Kadoomerang. 1,000 power points! And Fatty the nasty wing Tiny Mon. 1,100 power points! Hey, why didn't you choose them? They're unbeatable! And they're nasty. So, I've saved up power points from my old game, and we'll give it to Screecherine. Then we can beat Bodyus and Boomerang. Hey, you're in the tiny decks. Ha! And you're the weakest tiny mon ever. Ha <laughs> ha! Just pick Screecher Rain and let's win this game! <laughs> Johnny, it's beautiful outside, and you played enough tiny mon today. But we haven't started, and I just got the game, and you don't love me! I do love you. We can play for half an hour, then it's outside. Half hour! Barricade the door. Johnny, open the door! He sounds angry. I just have to beat my boomerang and we win the game. He's got the chainsaw. I just need one more minute. Wow, you look mad. That's a whole new shade of red for you. Oh, tiny mine. For one month. Honestly, I don't know what the appeal to these games are. Tiny Mon, you can get sucked into these games and never come out! Yeah. Ah. Oh, where am I? I blame Johnny! No, oh, wait, the girls! No, wait, Johnny and the girls! <laughs> I am finally captured! Hey, you're not the flaming headed kid! Where is the flaming headed kid I must defeat to prove that I am the greatest Tiny Mon trainer ever? Are you one of his Tiny Mon? Uh, I'm his dad. Very well then. Ah. Ready us! Battle! I'm his dad! Oh, I hope this is a dream. Now, time to capture on his dad! No, 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 wait! What are you doing? <laughs> huh? Johnny, have you seen your father? He's supposed to be cooking dinner and he just disappeared! Nope, but he did tell me I could play my Tiny Mon game when I was done playing outside. Oh, okay. Honey! Honey! Uh, why is your dad in the Tiny Decks? Um, Mom? How long did you say Dad's been gone? Three hours. <laughs> what do you mean Dad's in your game? I mean he's in the game and I didn't put him there. Well, we didn't put him in there. Wait, if we once got into the Tiny Mon world through the static animator, is it possible that someone in Tiny Mon world connected to us? That is ridiculous. And... <laughs> I'm a total genius and the cross portal extraction is almost complete. <laughs> Finally, I will battle the flame-headed kid ugly sisters and mama dog hey give me back my dad glass ketchup you mean i'm his dad whatever we want him back well i want to battle so we can finally find out who is the greatest tiny mon trainer in the universe and it is me what the boomerang battle mama dog huh what no 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 i'm not a tiny mon lightning ring go <laughs> 
<laughs> I've decided I hate tiny mines. What are you doing with that? <laughs> Catching another one of your tiny mines! <laughs> what is going on? No idea, but I think it's bad. A boomerang! Retreat! <laughs> well, Johnny Test, if you ever want to see your tiny mine again, you will meet me at the Coliseum tonight! For a battle of the ages that I guarantee you will lose. Ha <laughs> ha! I make myself laugh. But because we are not totally evil, if you win, we will send all of you back from where you came. But that will never happen. Ooh! I am tired from all this not totally evil plotting. <laughs> oh great! Now you have made me tired as well. Let us rest up for this most exciting match. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey Johnny! What's going on? Blast has Dad and Dookie trapped in tiny cubes. And the only way to get them back and get back to Port Billy is to win a battle like last time at the Coliseum. But we have no tiny mon! Powerful enough. Blast has the boomerang of body us. Together, they're too much for Screechereen. Are you telling me she can't help us and we're trapped here forever? Nope. She's gonna help us. Help us beat Blast at his own tiny mon snatching game. Now I get it. Welcome to the Tiny Mon Coliseum. Where today we have a most amazing battle match. Current champion, Johnny Test, and the challenger, the former Tiny Mon World Champion, Blast Ketchup. Trainers, throw out your Tiny Mon. Blast is in for a big, or should I say tiny, surprise. What? And Blast throws out Thaddeus and Baboomerang. Oh, I knew you were trying to swipe my Tiny Mon. That is why I switched them on you. Oh, what Tiny Mon do we have? And Johnny throws out my hot dog and I'm his dad. Really? You are all in big trouble. Big! Why is everyone laughing at us? Because you guys stink and we're going to live here forever because you guys are going to be destroyed by those guys. Oh, how I hate Tiny Mon. And let the battle begin. Fatios, double stingray, go! You are all grounded for life and... Ow! The boomerang, lightning ray. Okay, let me rephrase that. If you get me out of here alive, no grounding. For the last time, I'm not a Tiny Mon! Wait, that's it! You are Tiny Mon. You just stink! Not helping. Did Dookie just talk? But that means you two must have evolved forms. Time out! I need to adjust my Tiny Mon. What is going on? You cannot change his Tiny Mon. He has selected them already. Actually, Blast, the rules state that if you have the power, you can raise your Tiny Mon's battle power levels from your Tiny Dicks. Oh, not helping! I need my game droid. Now to transfer all my power points to my mud dog. But Dad is still too weak. He needs power. I think Screechereen wants to donate her powers. I hope this works. I thought this was supposed to help us, not hurt us. I'm telling you, I heard Dookie talk, and I'm feeling something. Oh, right. Say hello to Tukundra and Dalgoria. I told you we should have left that flaming-headed kid alone. And the battle begins again. It did. Your son is the most amazing champion, Mrs. Test. But I will beat him, for I am the greatest and most handsome trainer. Get him to Kundra. And I will have my revenge. You're going to fix this after dinner, right? No, no problem. problem. Okay, okay. What's the big surprise? Ta-da! They're going to tear down the old creepy pork belly inn to build an outlet mall today. 
and we've got front row seats. It's a demolition destruction dream come true. I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Black and Mr. White, why are you guys here? And why are you crying? They're not just building a new outlet mall here, Johnny. They're killing an 18th century architectural masterpiece. And we're here to pay our respects. Do you know if they're going to use any dynamite? <laughs> Weird. But break the destruction! Raise your wrecking balls, men! Demolition! Demolition! I'm getting out of here! Could turn Johnny into a lady. Did that. Maybe we could cure him and boys of their idiocy. <laughs> you mean like that? Ghosts! They're ghosts at the old Port Valley Inn. Ghosts? <laughs> you two dorks are afraid of ghosts? <laughs> Here's a little scientific secret. They don't exist! Oh, really? What do you say to this? Big scary ghosts at the old Port Valley Inn. People screaming, I'm the mother developer, Steven! Mayor, what's going on? Fear not, uh, we will get to the bottom of these mysterious occurrences and move forward with this outlet mall that this town uh, really uh, doesn't need. The SSGA has been called in to investigate. We're shutting down the demolition in order to launch a full-scale paranormal investigation. We'll get to the bottom of this, but it may take a long, long time. And with the outlet mall now delayed, developer Hugh J. Outlet is hopping mad. I'm hopping mad and I want those ghosts gone! There's a clear and logical answer about what's going on at that inn, and we're going to prove it since ghosts have never been proven. There's your proof! Ghosts! Yeah! Hi, kids! Did you hear about the ghosts at the Pork Belly Inn? <gasps> Scary! Oh, I love that old inn! Did you know that's where your mother and I had our very first date? And it's where he proposed. You were so romantic. <laughs> but it's dangerous now, so keep out or you'll all be grounded! See? Dad says it's dangerous and to stay away. We should listen to him this time. Are you telling me Johnny Test, our little brother, is scared? Oh, yeah! <laughs> and his dog. What? Me? No way! Great! Then we'll crack this case and go to the old Pork Belly Inn tonight. Oh, uh, but we can't, because we're going to hang with... Gil! <sighs> Are you investigating the ghosts? I love ghost hunting. I even got my own ghost catching gear. Hey. A white shirt and a neckerchief? Oh, yeah. Now let's catch some goats. <laughs> now, keep an eye out for anything suspicious. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of, boy. Just a rusty bolt gave way. Now, to cover more ground, we should all separate. We'll go with Gil. Johnny, you go with Dookie. Okay, where have I seen this before? You know, if you got rid of the dark and spookiness and put a coat of paint on this old place, it'd be really nice. And you'd have to fix that draft. It feels like someone is breathing down my neck. You must now face your doom. No, now we must... <laughs> Grab a book! What? Well, what are you gonna do? Read them to death? No, there's always a moving escape book wall thing in the libraries! <laughs> Dining room? Dance floor? Hey, this must be where your dad proposed to your mom! And it's where we're gonna stop those ghosts! See? No ghosts! Why? Because they don't exist! Maybe they're having a cappuccino! I theorize that the foam is like a mirror image of their lost souls. Man, it's a good thing you're cute. Wait, what's that noise? Sounds like dining music. Hey, welcome to Johnny Leduki's Bistro. You must be hungry from all that staring, huh? Have a seat. Food, fit for a goal. Mwah. You don't like? How about it is? And come again. I've seen this somewhere before. Look at it! Just run! Whoa! We're 
Quick and help, man. Start calling books. Why? Just do it. It works. <laughs> it sort of worked. Hey, check out all these old photos. And this one looks like the mayor getting the D to the N in the 80s. I think we found our first clue. Really? I have no idea. Maybe. There's a good chance I'm not a great ghost hunter. Hey, who are you? Ghosts, and we're haunting the inn. Well, so am I, and why those here first? No, we, we were here, here first. No, I was, and I want you all gone. Or face my wrath. We're leaving. Did your dog just talk? No, somebody pull a book fast. No sense. But neither did those ghosts. They seemed confused. And not really scary when you think about it. And the only way to solve this mystery is to catch them. Let's go over the plan one more time. The ghosts will run to the top of the stairs, step on the roller skates, and roll down the stairs. Where we'll pull the trip rope, and the ghosts will spring into the net, bounce off, and into the demagnetizing tubular holding chamber. Where I will close them in and trap them. Now, let's get our ghosts. Here, ghost. Here, ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. Apparently, the ghosts don't want to come out and play, so why don't we just turn and... <laughs> Didn't go according to plan, but we got the ghost! Now to reveal who these ghosts really are. Mr. Black and Mr. White! As part of Pork Belly's historical society, we hate seeing old things torn down. Right, like this beautiful inn. Plus, let's face it, outfit mall items are never cheaper than regular stores. Who's with me? The mayor! I regretted selling this property to Mr. Outlet, but the town didn't have the budget to keep it. But I couldn't stand seeing it torn down. Mom and Dad! Hi, kids. We didn't want to see the inn destroyed. It means a lot to us and a lot of couples in this town. And you're all in big trouble. The very good ghost chasers. <laughs> Mr. Outlet! I was trying to scare the ghosts away so I could build my outlet. And yes, our prices aren't better than regular stores, but we have great parking. <laughs> And I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling kids! Okay, now I know I've seen this somewhere before. But dude, no one wants a new outlet mall in this town. And look at all the trouble people went through to save this old inn. If you were a real businessman, you'd know what to do. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Thank you, Johnny, for saving our town this wonderful inn. And thank you for showing me how valuable this place is. You did it again, Johnny. Now, uh, come kick it on the dance floor with us. Get down on it. Oh, yeah. Is it me, or is that way scarier than when they were ghosts? Oh, big time. 